what we see here is on the left what is called the doc window or document window by default you probably see the objects in this window as large icons this is kind of cute but it's not very useful when we get into more advanced applications so I recommend that before you do anything else you set the view mode for this window to list later on this will allow you to see the nested hierarchy that this window often has in this configuration you will see a name column and a type column. This type column is also very helpful and you're only able to see it in this window if it's in list mode. So once again I highly recommend that you place this into list mode. The next window over is the currently opened view, currently selected and open object from this dock window. Basically this is the window that is in this list. If we close this and double click it it'll open back up so we see that that was definitely the window that we were referring to some handy tools on this window if you'll notice at the upper right corner there is a rotate icon if you click on that it'll put the window into landscape mode and if you click it back it'll go back to portrait mode kind of clever the next window over is the library window most likely this is on the objects tab and if you browse around and click on these objects, you'll get a description for all of the different UI objects that you can instantiate by dragging and dropping. We'll be adding a UI button and a UI label to this window in a few minutes. The Classes tab is another view for this that lists all of the objects. I should note that this is the Snow Leopard version of Xcode. If you're using Leopard, this will be a little bit different. So you may want to refer to the MonoTouch tutorial for Hello World if you're on Leopard. If you're in Snow Leopard, you can follow this one-to-one. -one. The You'll notice that in this list at the top, which is in alphabetical order, that our app delegate class is here and that's because we've already instantiated or rather the iPhone application solution that we created has already instantiated the app delegate in this main window dot XIB basically the way that they did that I will show you this real quick is on the objects tab they've added a custom object there's this box here that represents NS object if you drag that and drop it in the dock window that will create a basic object if you come over to the fourth window that's open this is the inspector and if we click on the identity we can give this a name and if we called this second app delegate now well, this wouldn't be very useful but you can see what happens in the dock window our name has changed to second app delegate You'll notice that the UI type is still NS object. We can change that by changing the class identity. This will allow us to say that this class, that this object, this NS object, actually represents app delegate. So we change this to say app delegate. The type now refers to app delegate. And if we click on the connections inspector, we'll see that this has a window outlet. If you remember from the description of the app delegates finished launching method, there was a line that said window dot make key invisible. This window here, the window in that code was referring to this window outlet. So let's delete this second app delegate and take a look at the actual app delegate that the iPhone solution created for us. If we look at the identity tab again, we'll see that they did exactly what I did with the second app delegate. They named it app delegate and set the class to app delegate. If we go over to the connections uh, tab in the inspector, you'll notice that the window outlet has been hooked up. If we hover over that, we'll see the, the window will highlight with a blue rectangle. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to clear this window outlet. 
now this window outlet is not connected to anything. If we drag from the dot, the unfilled dot to the right here, to the window, we'll see that it will highlight. If you let go of your left mouse button now, this will connect that outlet to that window. That's the basics for how outlets work. We drag from the outlet to the thing that it connects to. If we notice, there's also a referencing outlet that is pointing to app delegate. That's actually what is called files owner. Files owner in this case is UI application. So if you'll remember, there's an application class that is our UI application. This main window.xib file will be loaded automatically when the application launches and its files owner is set to UI application. This means that this nib file is actually scoped to UI application and if we look UI application has an outlet called delegate that is hooked up to our app delegate class. What happens with delegates in the Coco framework in the UI kit framework, there's a pattern called the delegate pattern. And what this allows you to do is set up an object that will be automatically called if it exists. Various methods that can be defined for the delegate object will get automatically called if that delegate property has been set. In this case, we're interested in the finished launching method that the app delegate can contain. So since this outlet has been set to app delegate, the UI application will call finish launching on its delegate. And what will result from that is in our code, window.makeKeyInvisible will be called. Window, once again, is this outlet on the app delegate that is pointing to our window in the XIB file. So, with all of that in place, we now know enough to create this application. What we want to have happen is, when a button is clicked, the label that we're going to create will change its text to Hello iPhone. So, we're going to need something in code to indicate that we have a button and a label. The way we do that is we create on the app delegate we create two outlets. If you're in Leopard, this creation will actually be possible on this Connections tab in the inspector. Uh, it's going to look a lot like the Snow Leopard way that I'm going to show, except that it's going to be in this window. In Snow Leopard, they've introduced this Classes tab, like I mentioned before. On this Classes tab, we'll find our App Delegate object. If